Hi, my name is Saido Berahino, professional footballer for West Bromwich Albion, and this is my story. In 1993, I was born in Burundi, a small country in Africa, one of the poorest countries. There was a civil war at the time of my, my birth. I lost my father in 1997, which was a, was a tough time for me. Didn't really understand much what was happening around the country because I was still a young boy. In the late 90s, we had to leave our country. My three older sister was we separated. My mother went another way, but I stayed with one of my mother's friends. Flew into Tanzania. We're from Tanzania. We had to catch buses, we had to walk. And I remember catching the plane from Kenya. From Kenya, I think we went somewhere. I was in Europe and from Europe. We went into England where my mother was. She arrived in 2001. So I didn't see her for two years, I think, or more. The police got in touch with my mom, managed to get in touch with her, and I wasn't allowed to see my mom for a couple of months because they, they had to make sure that my mother was my mother. So we, have, we had to go through a DNA test. I stayed in a home with a family that, um, that really helped me a lot made me feel welcome, but with the language barrier, it was, a, it was really hard for me because I couldn't understand a word of English. And I remember the first time I seen my mom was for like an hour at the police station. And leaving her was really tough for me because I haven't seen her for so long and the police wouldn't allow me to go back with, with her until the DNA results came back. I remember the day that I was given away to my mom when the results came back positive and she was my mother of course and the joy that I had was amazing. Things I've gone through I wouldn't wish anyone to go through you know it was really tough for me but I thank God um, for putting my life back on track and giving me a, a second, second chance in life and I thank England for giving me a second chance to accept me in their country and made it, my life easy to move on and follow the dream that I always had, which was to want to become a footballer. I've settled in well in Birmingham. I met some new people, new friends, and football's really helped me as well. And I just want to say, any refugees out there, just always follow your dream, never give up. Just because you've gone through a rough patch in life doesn't mean your life is over. I once thought mine was, but I've been able to overcome all the things that I've gone through and make my life into something positive and with hard work and always believing in yourself and never looking back. I've always looked forward. Life will always be great when you keep believing and pushing on and following your dreams.